Konnichiwa, Roxanne does. And I'm here again with another Japan crate. This is the June box. We're going to start with the drink. It's called Lifeguard and it looks like it is probably an energy drink. So let's give it a try. Here we go. Mm. It's not bad. It's sweet. It doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. Um, kind of like a bubblegum aftertaste too. Um, but it's good. And it supposedly has got seven vitamins and seven amino acids. So, yay. On to the next thing. And, here we go. What is this? It's made by Calvi. It looks interesting. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open up and find out. Maybe. I might open it. <laughs> hmm. Ow. My nail. It looks kind of like french fries. So I'm wondering, maybe it tastes like french fries. I'm wondering why there's this picture. Is that cheese, maybe? And these are cheese sticks? Hmm. We're gonna find out. Very crunchy. Mmm. Not a lot of stuff on the inside. Kind of has maybe like an onion and bacon taste to it. Subtle flavor. Savory. Mmm. But it's good. Let's move on. Made by Umaibo. Except instead of the long sticks we've got. It looks like it's been cut up into rings, so I love Umaibo. And I'm going to be doing an Umaibo, Umaibo video soon. Yep. It's cut up into ring shapes. Let's see. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Tastes just like Umaibo. I think this one is cheese flavor. Yep. Cheese flavor. Mmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy, savory. Mmm. A little bit different from a Cheeto, but kind of similar too in that area. So we got this very squishy white thing next. I'm going to guess that it is a marshmallow. I could be wrong. I'm gonna try and save some for my husband who's sleeping right now. Let's see. Oh. It's got chocolate in it. That was unexpected. And very fluffy, soft, very gooey, as you can see. Oh, nope. It's just too small to save any. Mm. But he's not into marshmallows anyway. Alright. We got a lot of savory stuff this time. Last time we got a lot of hard candy. So we got a lot of chips stuff like that and based on this picture I'm guessing there's like seven vegetables in this one
tastes a lot like the same thing that we have that looks like this, except our version of it, I believe, is just like french fry. It doesn't taste like vegetable at all. Just crunchy potato taste. Um, I think our version is more onion in, has more of an onion taste to it, but these don't. Not bad though. Alright, we got another kind of chip product, I think. A lot of chips in this in this month's uh, box. And packaging is sideways? Also has this thing on the front. So let's see what this is. Trying to get off without ruining it. Wow, it's on there good. So we got a card. And it looks like looks like we got some baseball cards. Somebody will have to let me know if this is a good one to have. It says dragon. Baseball card, Japanese. Ugh. All the batteries are running out. Ah! Good thing I had some charged already. Alright, so. Finished opening this bag that had a baseball card on it. Open from the side. It's probably some secret Japanese way to open it, but I'm just going to open it. So it's a potato chip. It just looks like regular, regular flavor. I don't see any kind of spices or anything on it. Oh, very regular, very plain potato chip. Just like any like Lay's potato. So it's good, but this is what I'm used to getting. Mm, right. This is energy drink bubble candy. It's got a cute picture on the front. And looks like it's gonna be busy. So I hope you don't have to put this in like liquid or anything because I'm just popping it right in. Mm. Mm. It's got a chalky candy texture. Hard. Chew it up. <laughs> it does get fizzy. It does get fizzy in your mouth when you chew it up. It has a very tart, lemony taste. It's good though. I like it. I like to get some more of those. All right. So this one takes a little effort. So we're going to make a separate video of this one all by itself so we get, we'll be saving it for later. Mm, Alright. Lifeguard gum. Lifeguard gum. Hmm. Interesting. Let's save gum for last. Is this gum too? This one opened up before I got to open it. It says one, two, three, and then something I can't read. I don't know what this one is. So since it's practically open, let's go for it. There it looks like it's gonna be a little chewy. Chewy square. Oh. Chewy. Cobra. Oh, here in Katakana, it says Cobra, which is cola. And um, yeah, I would say it is a cola taste. Um, easy to chew. Not doesn't get all stuck in your teeth and you're like, ah, I'm gonna pull out my teeth. 
It's a weird cola taste, but it is cola. I hope it's not gum because I just swallowed it. Just be silly to try it. Alright, so we got this. Looks like some kind of cakey. And maybe a lemon cakey. Let's see. I'm gonna try and save some for my husband. Didn't go well for the marshmallow one, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, it's too small, but I can rip this one in half, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip it in half, keep half from my husband. You can see the inside. It's very cakey. Maybe a lemon flavor. Last month there was banana, so I think this one's... So that last one tasted a lot like... Pound cake, a very moist, soft pound cake. It's very good. There's no lemon taste. There's uh, no banana taste either. Just a kind of a mild pancake or pound cake taste. But it was good. It's very good. Next, we're gonna do this uh, one of these fishies. I don't know their real name. I forget. I know it, but I don't know it. And uh, these are awesome in Japan. They taste so good. And I'm hoping the same for this. I buy them at the international store here locally and it's like an ice cream one and it's always like pizza burnt and it's just, I don't like it. So we don't buy them anymore. So I'm gonna save some for my husband. Just in case the camera stops again, I'm going to take a little bite. I don't know if I can break it. It's like a, a cone, like a ice cream cone on the outside. So I'm just going to go ahead and bite into it because it feels like it's going to possibly fall apart if I just break it. Mm. Mm. Yep. Very crunchy and spongy texture. Just chocolate on the inside. It doesn't really fill it though. It's just kind of stuck all to the inside edges. So the chocolate taste is very subtle. I would like some more chocolate. It might have melted on its way here, I don't know. But it is still good. And it's very fresh and crunchy. And I like it. We got an interesting umaibo here. It says teriyaki at the top and it has a picture of a burger. So my husband thinks it's teriyaki burger flavor. So kind of hope that it is. Let's give it a taste. Love my husband got me a box with a hundred of them in it. And they're almost all gone now. Uh, mm. Mm. Definitely teriyaki. I kind of taste onion. So, this Umaibo, very good flavor. Like it a lot. I can find some more to uh, buy, maybe from Amazon. All right, so other than the gum, save this really weird one for last. It looks like uh, breadcrumbs, the kind you would use in stuffing. It has this big thing that says sugar. So I'm very curious about what this one. Might be a strange one. Hopefully I get one though. I'm probably not opening it right. There we go. Alright. So inside, it does still look like breadcrumbs, like if you were making stuffing or something. Mm. It's good. It's very crunchy, and it's very. It tastes like sugar. It's very sweet. It recommends putting this on, like making a cereal out of it, or eating it with ice cream, and maybe. 
It might work. Works good. I like it. Very nice, sweet taste. All right. Well, we got this last one. It is gum. And it is lifeguard gum. I'm not sure what that means. It matches the drink though, so I'm assuming it's gonna taste like the drink. All right, oh, hello. It looks like gum. Mm -hmm. It's like any kind of gum, like trident. Um, it does kind of taste like the drink, except more candy-ish. Mm. A bit of an orange taste to it, which I really didn't detect orange in this. But maybe it is. This wasn't as sweet as this. Oh! But both of them are very good. And if you haven't gotten this chip pan crate, hopefully you'll get one soon because it's tasty. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching and I hope um, if you like this video that you'll like and subscribe to it to see my Japan Creep videos that are coming up in the future. And until then, mata ne! Oh, jeez. So my fellas, I didn't think I was going to make it through that video.